This eight-minute talk is part of a series of lectures on the New Agenda for America. The New Agenda is a set of policy planks that are favored by many Americans but ignored by most of the corporately financed 2008 presidential candidates. Other NAA planks call for universal health care, legal marijuana for adults, and replacing the Federal Reserve with the People's Reserve. Today I'd like to provide an overview of the second plank of the New Agenda for America a 20-year moratorium on all immigration into the United States. In this overview, I will discuss, one, why a moratorium on both legal and illegal immigration, two, unique arguments specific to both, and three, how does immigration impact the 2008 presidential election? First, why a moratorium on both legal and illegal immigration? Well, first of all, it's nothing to do with xenophobia or racism. It has everything to do with population growth and environmental sustainability. The fact is that exponential population growth is primarily due to immigration, and if we allow corporate America to continue their push for further immigration, our population will easily grow by 100 million in the next 50 years, from 3 to 400 million people. By 2060, Hispanics would become the predominant nationality in the United States, and the first time, Caucasians would become a minority. The problem is that we cannot environmentally sustain a population of 400 million people. If you haven't noticed, we are having increasing difficulty supporting the 300 million that are already living in the United States. Just consider a few recent developments that became noticeable in 2007. The southeastern United States experienced a record-breaking drought. As a result, cities like Atlanta may actually be forced to ration water over the next couple of years. Meanwhile, in the southwest, the Agua Aquifer, an underground body of water supplying water to the southeast, is growing dry. In both cases, the primary reason for this problem is exponential population growth. So if we can't sustain our current population of 300 million, what are we going to do when the population doubles to 600 million in the next 100 years? What will happen is the same thing that archaeologists believed happened to the Mayan civilizations. We will undergo a system collapse. Not a recession, not a depression, I'm talking about a cataclysmic crash of civilization that will be accompanied by civil strife, resource wars, and massive famine. In light of these facts, it seems puzzling that the corporate-controlled media refuses to connect the dots between immigration, population growth, and environmental sustainability. We must rise up and insist that legal and illegal immigration stop immediately. I would highly recommend viewing Roy Beck's 14-minute video, Population by the Numbers, to better understand why all immigration must be stopped. This graph from his presentation shows that U.S. population growth from 3 to 400 million by 2060 if present trends are allowed to continue. For anyone not yet convinced of our need to control world population, please take a good look at the following population graph. We are currently at 6.5 billion people on planet Earth, and that could double in the next 100 years. As you look at this graph, consider that the cumulative world population in 600 AD was about 600 million, that's 1600 AD. It took 4.5 million years to get to that number, yet we actually added 600 million people in just the last six years. That six in year increase is double the current population of the United States. This trend is not sustainable. Why stop legal immigration? Any mention of stopping legal immigration is pretty much banned for discussion throughout the corporate media. Most of the 2008 presidential candidates have also been quietly pushing for increased legal immigration for decades. Even Lou Dobbs continues to insist that he is absolutely for more legal immigration. Lou needs to change his position immediately. I have been opposed to legal immigration for at least 20 years, and for most of these years I've been asking the question, why are we allowing all these foreign elites to come in here and take our best paying jobs and buy up our businesses? Whatever happened to the spirit of American know-how, that there is nothing an American can accomplish? Yet, for some reason, we have been bombarded with this media propaganda insisting that Americans are lazy and intellectually inferior. Why is this happening? Well, I believe one reason is that U.S. corporations don't want to pay for the increasing cost of older American employees. It is a fact that the cost for an employer to pay for an employee's health benefits doubles between the ages of 35 and 50. 
So they are simply pushing older Americans to the curb and replacing them with much younger legal and illegal immigrants. It is a fact that most of the immigrants coming in here are in their mid-twenties. Ageism is becoming the new but silent form of corporate racism. But beyond this is a simple fact. We don't need any more legal immigrants. Just consider the following report from a recent Lou Dobbs show. Quote, there is no shortage of students studying for careers in math and science. There is a shortage of jobs. That's simply the bottom line finding of a new study from the Urban Institute. The study shows that between 85 and 2,000, 435,000 U.S. citizens and permanent residents a year graduated with bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in science and engineering. That's three times the number of jobs in science and engineering being added per year, 150,000 during that time, unquote. So, each year we are only creating enough white-collar jobs for one-third of the college graduates. That means 300,000 graduates each year are basically wasting their time and money. In fact, there are so few good jobs being produced that colleges and universities are encouraging their graduates to look towards blue-collar jobs. So American students are going thousands of dollars in debt, wasting four to six years going to school, and then ending up with an $8 an hour job and no health benefits. But I believe the silence on legal immigration has purpose. It masks the fact that we are basically allowing this country to be overrun by rich foreign elites, yet our presidential candidates continue to look the other way. Fortunately, others are beginning to finally wake up. Pat Buchanan's recent book, Day of Reckoning, he says the following, To prevent Americans from becoming a tangle of squabbling nationalities, Buchanan urges, among other measures, a timeout on all immigration. Yes, a timeout on all immigration, including legal immigration. Now we just have to get Lou Dobbs on the bandwagon. So why stop illegal immigration? I'm not going to spend much time on this. It is abundantly clear that the majority of legal American citizens want to see a quick and total end to illegal immigration. In fact, in 2007, was the year Americans finally woke up to the reality of illegal immigration. As they woke up, they stopped Congress from passing an illegal immigration amnesty bill, stopped New York's Governor Spitzer from issuing licenses to illegal aliens, and demanded that the state step in as the federal government continues to turn a blind eye to massive waves of illegal immigrants. Finally, how does immigration impact the 2008 presidential election? Well, unfortunately, most of the leading candidates are still intent on serving their corporate donors with amnesty for illegal immigrants and more visas for legal foreign elites. McCain lies to his supporters by saying that he's going to secure the border. This is utter garbage. After all, he was the main sponsor of the Kennedy and McCain illegal amnesty bill in the Senate in both 2006 and 2007. About the only candidate that is convincing on this issue is Ron Paul and a few other minor candidates. This is why I urge you to help the New Agenda for America go viral in 2008. When the New Agenda for America talks about a moratorium on all immigration, we're serious. No more anchor babies. You absolutely will not be able to work here, drive here, or have babies here if you're not a legal citizen. And you're not going to be granted citizenship if you came here illegally or you overstayed your visa. Please help us influence the 2008 presidential election by supporting the new agenda for America. One way you can do this is by distributing wallet-sized lists of the policy planks. You can also discuss NAA online. And finally, you can view dozens of additional videos on new, the new agenda and other topics. For more information, just come to my website, New Age Citizen. Thanks so much for taking this time to listen to me. I am Bruce Kane, editor of New Age Citizen website, author of the New Agenda for America, and write-in candidate of last resort for the 2008 presidential election. Please help us chart out a new course for the American people in 2008 and beyond. Thank you.